Another edition of Riding Home, Georgia and Auburn getting ready for uh, uh, another ranked showdown between these two teams. And Ryan Curley joins me from uh, just getting off the field at, at uh, practice at Georgia. Ryan, what did you see today that was of, of significance? Yeah, well, they had practice both inside and outside. I went inside where the offense was. Uh, Stetson was taking the reps with the ones. JT nice. Daniels, as Kirby Smart said earlier today, was not throwing the football. He he did uh, participate in stretching, and you could see him kind of going through the motions. But Was he grimacing uh, at thing, all? No, I didn't see that in his face. Um, I think – I think they're just not rushing him back. Uh, they, they did have him handing the ball off, so he was practicing handoffs, um, but he wasn't throwing the football. Um, Carson was Beck was the number two. Right. Um, I, I thought that Stetson, Stetson was making better throws than Carson, just in, in the small sample size. He was, he was more accurate um, through all sorts of different routes, um, whether it be a, a slant or a post or a deep ball. I, I thought that Stetson was making the best throws out of the three of them. Um, including Brock Vandegrift. But, uh, you know, George Pickens out there, same deal as, as uh, what it was two or three weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Non-contact jersey, brace on the knee. I thought he looked a little bit faster this time than what I remember from last. Uh, Aaron Smith, not not there. Marcus Roseme, Jack Saint, not there. Um, Dominic Blaylock was in a contact jersey. He had a brace and a sleeve on his knee. Um, but then after... After a few minutes, instead of just running routes, they had the defense come in, and they and they, we actually got to watch some some uh, scrimmage against uh, just some passing drills. Uh, Blaylock was I I couldn't find him anywhere when when the defense came in. I saw Pickens standing on the sideline. He didn't participate in that portion uh, where they had someone covering, but the Dominic Blaylock was just he just disappeared after the the first set of drills. Don't know what that's about. Oh, that's that about kind of strange. Oh, it's about uh, recovery. I mean, these guys are still yeah. trying to get back from being injured. And, and you named three, in, well, I don't know about game-changing, certainly two of them, very good receivers, and in, in George, who I would call a game-changing player, and probably Dominique Blaylock. But Smith and uh, Rosemary Jack Saint have serious speed uh, to get you all you need. We've not seen this team... Yeah, you know where I'm going with this. We've not seen this team be what they have the capability of being, and not because they haven't shown it, because they haven't had everybody on the field at the same time. I mean, I, it looks more and more like Eric Gilbert will not will not play this season. But even even that is, you know, even though improbable, it is it is in the universe of, of possibility. So uh, not impossible. Not impossible. But we doubt it. I I doubt it, but. Um, at this I, point, I doubt it as well. So, uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Kirby was getting after the defensive backs when they were uh, grabbing on the jersey, pass interference. He he was really fired up. He kept saying, uh, "Keep, don't cheat." He kept screaming, "Don't cheat!" at the at the corners. Uh, Keely Ringo is someone I saw. He had a pass interference when he was guarding uh, Jermaine Burton on a comeback route. You know the, num- Bowers, the number one thing, really Ryan, good. about yeah. about these drills when you. You know, when you're when you're a, a younger player, we go to these camps and we go to stuff like a MVP camp or a Nike camp or what used to be Under Armour camps. The DBs just hold the whole time. They commit pass interference every single play. Well, they're going they're going to call that every single time in the SEC. So Kirby is right to get all over his guys and say, "Hey, look, you know, they're going to call that." You're, you're, this week, Auburn has some. Some firepower on offense. I mean, you have Demetrius Robertson, who a Georgia player should know well, and his speed. Uh, you have Tank Bigsby, who is probably the number one problem uh, as, as it relates to Auburn. Bo Nix. I'm not sure Georgia will play a quarterback with more athleticism than Bo Nix has in the next five years. I mean, I'm not saying he's a great quarterback, but... He is as gifted athletically as Johnny Manziel, uh, Deshaun uh, Watson, uh, Trevor, uh, Cam Newton, guys like that who were more than just pocket guys. He's not the quarterback those guys are. But anyway, I'm getting off the subject here, which is that Georgia's defense has been very, very good. 
But the challenge this week is going to be uh, significant. And in, in, in the, Tank Bigsby is a real problem, generally he's, speaking. He's very good. Yeah. He's very good. Um, I, it'll be interesting to see a team that runs as well as Auburn, how they do against Georgia's defensive line in front seven. We saw them completely shut down Arkansas's run game. So if you're Georgia, you want to just repeat that next week. But but Tank Bigsby, uh, Jarquez Hunter, I think they're better backs than who Arkansas has. So, I mean, I think it's it's a different story this coming week. Uh, what's, what's Bo Nix going to do um, against a defensive line like that? He's got to get outside of the pocket and make some plays, so it's mm. about containing him. No, he, he needs to play quarterback, see. I think, that, I think that's... I mean, if they're rushing him, though, he's, he's going to be running around like a maniac. Mm. Yeah, they're not going to rush him like that, I don't you think. think yeah, you think I think so. this is going to be... See, people, people in 2015, that Alabama defense was, was very good. And um, what, George, what, uh, what they did to Georgia and everybody else was they didn't really rush the passer specifically. They would collapse the pocket from the, from the front. So guys like Jordan Davis specifically, but Devontae Wyatt as well, just big guys up front. They're not rushing the passer. They're trying to get to him. But they're saying, hey, we don't think you can make the plays. And so we're about to see this a couple of times, Ryan. We're going to see them do this against uh, Auburn on Saturday. I have very little faith that Auburn is going to be able to execute an offense. God, I love Mike Bobo. I think he is excellent. He just got to Auburn. He's not going to solve all this in a season. But they're going to make Auburn execute up and down the field for 60 minutes. Mike doesn't have Aaron Murray to be his quarterback. That's not who he's dealing with going up against Kirby Smart. That's not what it is. So he doesn't have Grayson Lambert either. Um, you know, Bo Nix is far more gifted than what uh, than what Georgia had in 2015 in terms of athleticism. So I'm getting off the point, but I did want to say that I expect Georgia to push the pocket. If Bo Nix, the other problem, and you and I were watching it together with Matt Saturday night, the other problem, as I was screaming at the TV, is if Bo Nix thinks he's going to scramble his way to multiple drives up and down the field, it's not going to happen. He's going to have to play quarterback. That's going to be the challenge for him. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I, you know, I said something similar about Arkansas and, and K.J. Jefferson last week. They haven't seen – they haven't played a Georgia defense. Auburn hasn't done that yet. I think it's going to be a different story. Um, if, if they're running the ball successfully, then they have a real – then they have a shot to create an issue for Georgia. But – I just don't know if they're going to be able to to break that many big ones. You never know what a big run play. I mean, they we'll have. I mean, Tank could happen. I mean, they, Tank they, and they Bo pass plays against Georgia. Yeah, Bo Nix no, and, 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 and Tank. Hunter, all and, no, they 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 got guys that can hit big plays on the run game. The problem is no one seems to hit big plays in the run game. I mean, Arkansas had really good running backs, not to the level of Tank Bigsby, okay, but they had really good running backs too. Uh, Dabo wouldn't shut up about Will Shipley, um, who hasn't really done a lot at Clemson. He's been banged up a little bit. But a lot of people have not been able to get big runs. Again, back to this 15 Alabama-Georgia game when Kirby came to town. Nick Chubb had a huge run against them. They scored a touchdown on like an 80-yard run. But That wasn't indicative of the actual uh, not what at was all. going on. Not at all. And and look, you know, Georgia's really had Auburn's number uh, – this century, generally speaking, but certainly the last sort of 17 or 15 years, um, they've recruited better. They've had better players, better coaches, um, you know, and Auburn has won the national championship and has played for another one. So they've won the league twice this, this past, last decade, but they didn't have the better decade. And, um, which is kind of saying something, but, you know, I expect, I expect Georgia to, to solidly win this game. And it's going to be because of the stuff that you saw at practice. It just it just never ends uh, with Kirby and those guys at those practices. No, it's relentless. Another just they're just so deep. I mean, you got a freshman Brock Bowers out there making crazy catches over Lewis Seen. Um, it just right, it was right in front of me. Um, but they were battling. Darnell Washington was battling with Tyke Smith. I mean, they're getting them all ready, and and then we've seen it all year. They're, they're missing guys. They're going to keep. That's how it's going to be for a few more weeks. The offense is not going to be at its full disposal. I I don't think JT Daniels is going to play on Saturday. If if you ask me right now, I don't think he's going to play on Saturday. It looks like it's going to be Stetson Bennett again, and I don't 
I don't think that's the end of the world. I think he's capable of beating Auburn. Yeah, I mean, he beat him last year. Now, I know yeah. it was at Georgia. Beat him last year. Yeah, I mean, he, he yeah. played well against Star. That might have been the best mm, – that might have been the best game that Stetson he played didn't, last he, year. He, he didn't play bad against Auburn. He played all right. No, I mean, he it was, played. It was good the, enough to win. The, 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 they, the, that wasn't a close game. No, so, it was not. And uh, and, the, and the the problem, Ryan. Uh, uh, let me just say this: the problem in that game was Auburn. You know, offense couldn't. The, 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 you got a lot of problems here for Auburn. Now, not exclusively, you know, everything that we're talking about, but. The one thing they're playing at home, and and that does matter a lot. And 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 you know you don't think it does. Look at the Arkansas game this past week. But but this is a better Georgia team than those two teams a year ago, and it's probably a better Auburn team, I guess. But boy, they've looked bad, and they've looked bad at home. They look bad at home. I mean, what's the spread's fifteen, roughly? I well, they've got I mean, it at 14 and a half, 15. Be within two touchdowns of Georgia. I, I just don't. I, I don't. And, and this is, I, I mean, I don't, I do not play absolutism. I don't, I don't think, oh, this is only, this is certainly going to happen. But I just have watched Auburn, you know, and, and they did play well against LSU. LSU is not the They, haven't, they haven't won there since 99. That says something. I mean, it's, they it's, went it's down a, there. It's, it's, it, well, it's a combination of a lot of things. It's not nothing. Yeah, I mean, it's, not it's not nothing. nothing. It, it, it's, I don't it's think a, LSU's great. No. Uh, that's no. part of it. But it's not nothing. No. I mean, that's, no. it's but, impressive to go down there and they, win they, in a place they like didn't, that. They didn't win down there in, 90, in 19. I mean, that would have been impressive. I mean, so that – some LSU, LSU, when you think about they, – they have generally played Auburn, I think, almost exclusively on in even year – or odd, odd years down there. Those have been good years for LSU. I mean, they won the league in 2001. They loved, won the league in 2003. They played for it in 2005 against Georgia. They won the national championship in 2007. They were a top five team when they came to Athens in 2009. This is all going off memory, which means they had to have beaten Auburn that year. Auburn was not good in 11. I think they beat Auburn by two touchdowns the year that Auburn won uh, won the SEC in seven in thirteen. Auburn was not good in in fifteen. Uh, in seventeen, that was one of Auburn's losses, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. And then in nineteen, you know that was a juggernaut for LSU. So uh, there you go. There's the history of of Auburn <laughs> Auburn LSU down there in Baton Rouge. But uh, but there's reasons why they've just not been the better team, with the exception of two of those years. And in and, and the two years, they just caught Auburn early. So it, it, was, it is a big deal. But, 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 Ryan, look, man, can you erase this? Can you, with the LSU win, which was a big deal for sure for Auburn, can you erase the performance against Georgia State? See, I, I can't. No, that, that's Cause, not, cause that's the, not good. They're both of those things. That's the problem. Which one are we going to get next week? You're going to get – We don't know. Well – Neither of, them, are, are neither of them are good neither enough. Neither of them can be Georgia. Mm-mm. Not the Georgia we've seen. And not the Georgia we've seen. And if they if they play the way they've been playing, it's just not gonna happen. Yeah, but you know, they might not play as well on offense, Georgia. But but they the, might not. But the defense might not, but... is <laughs> I mean, yeah, Auburn's going to have three hundred yards. Travels more so than offense does. But. I, I, I think Auburn is going to is going to have some explosive plays. And it's going to get them to like three hundred yards. I, it's what I think, but we'll see. I mean, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for Tank, who is a who is a top fifty NFL guy. But you know, the quarterback spot, I, I, they're not. They're not where they need to be in terms of quarterback production from the pocket. That's my worry with Auburn is that. And and if they were good there, you wouldn't have seen Bo Nix get replaced at Georgia State, uh, the Georgia State game. And now, anyway, what else did we miss at practice? I don't want to kind of overdo the Auburn stuff. I'm mean, just looking through my notes, see if there's anything else, or if we cover. I mean, well. Kirby going bonkers on a. Uh, he on was a going practice. bonkers on passing. He he That's he's. Normal. Yeah, he's he knows that this game matters a lot, and yeah. he he knows you know from his history with Auburn that this game matters a lot. You know, I, I remember watching, you know, his first year at Georgia was '95, but you go to the '96 game, you turn it on, and you know he played in those games when he was early in his career, but um, and he he was not a starter by any stretch of the imagination, but 
on the sideline as a player against Auburn, he was very animated. Um, it's People who are my age understand why this game is such a big deal. And I don't know if people younger than me appreciate it for how uh, consequential this game has been in the past. But it is a major matchup for Georgia. The season's on the line for Auburn. Um, I don't know if you can say that for Georgia right now. But the season's on the line for Auburn. It's just not a great matchup. It's not. And, and, you know, we'll see in due time. That's a few days away. Um, But – and Auburn's not an easy place to play. No. So it could be – it can be a little different. It'll be Georgia's first true road test of the year. I mean, if – I mean, I don't know what you want to call Charlotte. That's a road game. Mm. But it's neutral site. Here's here's the big thing because I I don't want to talk forever. But they are – you know, they're about a 14-and-a-half point favorite. And in games where they're 13 or or more favored – in those games, they are sixty-four and three in the last ten, uh, last eleven seasons. So they have I just, lost. These I, games. I just can't see Auburn being being within two touchdowns of this team right now. Mm-hmm. Just not with how inconsistent they've played. I mean, that Georgia State performance—you can't forget about that. Well, and it wasn't just that. And it's not game. like they went into LSU and blew them out. I mean, no, it was they were a, losing was most of the game. game. Yeah, 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 exactly. They did so, not play well. I mean, I I don't think that that should be overlooked. Um, but they're, they're they're playing a different animal on Saturday, and it it's, looks like it's going to be Stetson Bennett um, who's in charge of that. But I mean, he looked good today. He looked good. It, he looked crisp. All right, Ryan. Thanks for joining us here on Riding Home. We'll see everybody over on the website.